what's up you guys it's me Alyssa and I'm back with another video so today I'm going to try and make this video kind of fast because it keeps cutting me out at like six minutes so um today I am going to be filming a story time and this is kind of like a stalker story time um you guys can tell me what you think of it um I don't know go for it tell me in the comments what you think this is okay so um this started when I was, like, in first grade or something, and, um, me, my cousin, and my sister used to make our own ideas and, like, stay cool during the summer by taking tubs of water, like, just, like, plain old buckets, and then pouring water into them and sitting in them, and, um, we did that until my cousin got a pool made in her yard, but... Yeah, that's what we did when we were little. So, um, one day, we were in the little tubs of water, and this kid, we're going to call him Mitchell, um, he came over, and he started yelling at us, kind of, like, harassing us in a way, um, like, with his words, saying, you have to paint my bike the blue it was, because somebody spray-painted his bike baby blue. Um, so he told us that, and he told us we had to pay him $15, we are, like, first to third graders. What are we going to do? My cousin was older than him, and my sister was the same age as him, and I'm younger than him. So, yeah. We were like, well, wh what are we going to do? We're little kids. Like, we're still in ele elementary school. Ugh. And, um, like, we can't do that type of stuff. And he's like, oh, I don't care. Find the money find the spray paint, I don't care, just do that stuff, and my cousin's like, um, or not, because we didn't do that, and he's like, really, really, and we're like, yeah, really, and he takes a stick on my lane, and starts sharpening it on the ground, and then threatens to kill us, okay, yep, all right, it was like a twig, so, I guess that works, um, and then my cousin, she took our skateboard, and she like ran after him with it, and he ran away screaming and crying like a little girl. <laughs> and then the next day, or like a couple days after that, um, he came back over and brought a skateboard with rockets attached to it. And he said, I challenge you to have a race with me with skateboards. Okay, alright. And um, he's like, go get your skateboard talking to my cousin. And she's like, well, I can't skate with it right now. It's like not like, eligible to ride, and, um, he's like, I don't care, still get it, and she's like, no, like, you can't tell me what to do, leave, go away from my house, so he w left, and then me and my cousin, we were outside of that window right there, and, um, my cousin and I, we were just, like, playing on the playground that we had out there, and him and his friend come walking down the lane, and me and my cousin book it up to the little like tower thing that we had and um we hid from them and um they were like we see you up there you're or, like we're not stupid and we were like oh okay and we're like well what are you doing here and he's like I want to talk to your sister talking to me and I was like no I looked at my cousin and I was like what do we do and she's like go home go away no one wants you here and his friend started like trying to fish for the fish in my pond and my dad came out, and he's like, get the F out of my yard, like, F this, F that, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, my God, like, my dad's going crazy. So they were, like, really scared at this point, so they ran away. And then when I was in sixth grade and Mitchell was in eighth grade, Mitchell's not his real name, by the way, um, Mitchell was like, why don't you ever come over to my house? Because. All I told him, I didn't say, because I don't like you, because what you did when we were little. I said, because I can't walk on the street yet. He was like, oh, well, I'll come over to your house. No, you're not. I was like, well, my dad doesn't like you, so you can't do that. And he's like, oh, okay, sorry. And he left me alone. And then the other day, I'm in ninth grade, and he's in 11th grade, I believe. Yeah. And um, he walks up to me. You should come over. You should hang out with me. We should go in my room and hang out on my bed. Yeah, mm-hmm, yep, I'll do that. All right, see you tonight, bye. 
No, that's gross. That's weird. I don't want to do that. But yeah, that happened. So it's at like five minutes now. So I'm going to end it up right here. Um, yeah, that was my stalker story. If you guys did enjoy, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to comment down below. And tell me if this was like a stalker or not. Because I'm still confused on what it was. So, yeah. Subscribe if you haven't already. And, yeah. Bye, guys.